strict restrictions. So when you look at gyms, for example, uh, the guidance will talk about limiting the number of people who can use the facility at any one time. You'll have to book your slot. You can't just turn up there. Uh, there's going to be uh, reducing class sizes for exercise classes, for example, and as you said, more uh, cleaning. Uh, and then looking even deeper into some of the guidance, uh, one of our colleagues has found on gyms, they're talking about a minimum 100 square foot per person is the area that has to be allowed. Now, if you think about a lot of gyms, many of them are pretty small, so that is going to be very limiting for them. So in the same way that cafes, restaurants, pubs have all been restricted in what they can do, uh, this is going to be a bit of an issue for some of those places. Uh, so it's not back to exactly the normal that we expected. And then when it comes to theatres, you know, we are at the end of this so-called roadmap of reopening swathes of the economy, and we're almost at the end of that. But there are still places, he talked there about uh, outdoor theatres, uh, but indoor theatres, they're still looking at how they can do it and do it safely. And that goes the same for concert venues uh, and for places like nightclubs, you know, they will still be looking at that and not seeing... Uh, the prospect of reopening soon. So yes, it has all gradually reopened, but in a very different way to that that we were used to before lockdown. Very interesting you going through some of that background.